have been an artist for as long as I could remember. And while growing up, it was something I always done. In 1994, I was attending church at Pastor John John in Chicago. And I had made some sketching for what were flags I think they had plans on making. I worked really hard on several of them and took them with me one Sunday and turned them in. I waited for someone to come and talk to me after church, but no one came. The church grew empty, and I was about to leave when a middle-aged, majestic-looking woman walked up to me and asked me if I was the one who had done the sketching. And I said, yes, I am. And with that, she started to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, she said. She went on to tell me how she had been praying for four years for the Lord to send her someone who could paint a picture of a vision she'd seen. And without delay, she went on to tell me of this horrific scene where thousands of people were ignorantly falling into a fiery pit of torment and only a few were escaping by way of a giant cross. I stopped her short and I said, I can't paint what you've seen. It's too fantastic. And besides, I'm not a painter, I said. I'm just an artist. She looked at me sternly and she said, you are a painter and you will paint what I've seen because the Lord told me that you are the one he has sent to paint it. It was hard for me to believe what she was saying because at the time, I really wasn't a painter. But what she said stayed with me. It would be another four years. And one day I sat down with a pencil and paper and unexpectedly doodled out what would become the plans for the, this painting called The Crisis. This painting is 25 years old. It's 24 inches by 48 inches, acrylic on canvas. It took three days of nonstop solid work to complete. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Notice how the cross is also a sword. The word of God is a sword and it goes to the depths of darkness. There's no place that it does not reach. Look at the people about their daily lives. Unaware of what is to befall them. But like that rock that sits in the middle of the road that cannot be avoided, you have to go around it. That's the way Jesus is. No one can say they did not see, they did not hear, they did not know. We have to avoid Christ in order to meet destruction. Look at those who have found the road to salvation through Christ. It's difficult. Some are looking back. Some are trying to help others. Some can barely stay on. Some have grown weary. Look at these doors that are filled with fire, the cleansing fire of trial and tribulation. It's what cleanses the soul. But look how they come out. Clothed in white, on fire for God, carrying their crosses.
see how the Lord sends out his angels to do battle. with the principalities and the demons who are seeking the destruction of mankind. See how the Holy Spirit sends the word like a song to fall on the masses of those who have ears. Let them hear. See the three doorways? No one is forced to go through the cleansing fire. But the third door, look where it leads. Hmm. Here we have the word of God engraved in the paint. You can't see it. You have to look very good in order to see it. Because that's the way the Word of God is. That's the way the things of God are. You have to seek. But if you seek, you will find. This is the meaning to the painting. The crisis. It is the vision of Dolores Dimitri. God bless you.